G'day guys, Lemon Eating Cow here, and I am back with another Dragon's Dogma guide. And this time, I'm going to be showing you how to get an like a large, a large amount of gold at the very start of the game. Actually, it's going to be about 300,000 gold, which is huge, a huge amount for pretty much the entire game, actually. And I'm also also going to show you how to access some pretty powerful DLC items. Now, when I say DLC, it's from previous DLCs and it's all included within the base game. So it's not something you have to download and it should be free to all users. So what you want to do is run down to the inn here. Uh, I'll show you where we are on the map in just a second. But there we are in the inn. It's just through these double doors here. And in any of the inns, you can actually manage your storehouse and you can deposit and withdraw items. And at the start of the game, we're actually going to have some items already deposited in our bank. Now, a lot of veteran players would already know about this, but I'm sure a lot of new players would have no idea that these items are st sitting in your bank. So talk to the innkeep and then go to manage stored items and then we're going to go down to withdraw. Now there's going to be a few things in here. There's a few life stones um, for the use on Bitted Black Isle, but we'll go a little bit over that in another one of my guides. Also here, the fiend luring incense, again, is another thing that we'll go into a little bit later on. But what we're looking for is the equips. So if we go to head equips, we can see we've got the tiara of enlightenment, which can be used by any class. We've also got the ruminator's monocle, which uh, can be used by any class, but also that has a far greater use than just equipping it. And we'll go over that in a second. Also, there is the Jester's Cap, which looks goddamn ridiculous, but it is, um, it is still a decent equipment. So also we have the Robe of Enlightenment, which is for a caster class. Uh, pretty good armor for the start of the game. Also, we have the Wavering Cloth and the Vagabond armor. And the Vagabond armor can be used by any class and is really, really quite powerful. Also, we have the Lion's Spine, which is uh, some arm armor, and it can be used by any class apart from the uh, magic wielders at the start of the game. So, uh, sorry guys, you've lucked, it, lucked out on that one. Also, under the jewelry, we've got three rings, and each one of these will uh, correlate to the different vocations. But for this purpose, we can pretty much use both of them, and they're going to give us some uh, benefit. So, after you've got your items out, you're going to want to come out of the inn and head across here to the item shop. Now, the Ruminator's monocle that we picked up, I said it had a greater use than just having uh, its equipment value. And that thing is the gold value. If we sell it here to the uh, the item store owner, you can see 312,000 gold, which is an extreme amount of money, really, at this point in the game. I'll just sell it and I'll have a look at what the general item uh, value is in this game. So if we look at all the other stuff, even the good equipment is like 2,000, 3,000, maybe 5,000 for the ring. And if we look at curatives and stuff like that, they're like 70 gold, 120 gold. So this is going to be a massive, massive boon for you at the start of the game. Anyway, I hope this one helped out. It should give you a little bit of help early on and you can actually buy some pretty good weapons there in the store as well to kind of... Uh, kit out the rest of your character. If this guy did help you out, then please leave a thumbs up. If you've got any comments or suggestions, then leave them in the comment section below. And if you haven't subscribed already, then please do so. This has been Lemon Eating Cow. Um, moo.